A controversial change in policy at NPS schools struck down by the new superintendent. That policy would have required more police involvement at school. Ricky Mitchell is live at district administration with what students are saying. Ricky. Well, the district is on a deadline, Carol, to make changes to its discipline policy after the U.S. Department of Education found that black students are expelled at much higher rates than white students. But one of the changes drew immediate concern. Our schools are, are supposed to be sanctuaries. As a senior at Riverside High School, Leticia Alavez says this proposed policy change would only create fear among her classmates. I have a lot of friends that they are themselves undocumented. They can be seen as suspicious just because of the way they look. She's part of a student-led group that brought this concern tonight to the school board. Part of the proposed policy says the school administrator shall involve the police department for any instance in which criminal activity is suspected. We think it's an overreach that shouldn't happen, and it puts a lot of students in danger um, and puts them on the path of school-to-prison pipeline. And at tonight's meeting, the board listened. This is a, a good example of democracy at work, community involvement, this language is something that we should have caught before it got to this point, but it was the community people in the community who caught this and brought it to our attention. After the new superintendent, Keith Posley, recommended striking out that one line, the board adopted the rest of the proposed policy. I think it's a great first step. We think they have good intentions moving forward, and we look uh, forward to partnering with MPS to reform student discipline. Now, the Department of Education gave MPS a June 18th deadline to make all of those changes to their discipline policy. The district does plan to gather additional student input and revisit that language that drew concern. Reporting live at District Administration, Ricky Mitchell, today's CMJ4. Thank you.